Hi everyone, today I'll be sharing more on stachanography. This will be an interesting topic and domain for anyone who wishes to understand more about cybersecurity. Sometimes, some people will deem this topic as a tough element to understand. Stachanography is part of the cybersecurity elements under cryptography, and this falls under the topic of domain tree. Security Architecture and Engineering in CISSP Certified Information System Security Professional And some of you who do not understand and know what is a CISSP certification and is always interested to find out more with professionals holding on to these certifications Let me share with you more about CISSP certifications today CISSP is an independent information security certification granted by the International Information System Security Certification Consortium, also known as IC Square. This is considered a gold plated certification, and anyone holding on to this certification is deemed to have obtained a high level understanding in cybersecurity and will be looked upon. At this point of time, some of you might wonder why all of a sudden I'm sharing about psychonography. The interesting part of this is that I can demonstrate the concept using command prompt and images. So it will be easier for us to watch, imagine, understand the concept behind this. So this will be just like how we understand and learn a new concept. For a start, let's understand the meaning behind the concept of psychonography. This interesting word is derived from the Greek word meaning cover writing. In a layman understanding, the meaning behind is to cover or hide a message. So unintended users or receiver will not be able to read or guess the meaning behind the message. The message we are referring to will be a term writing. So to cover the trace and to hide all the writings. Also, the end goal for this method is to ensure that the hidden data will and cannot be detected by anyone else except for the intended party. There is also a secondary goal like to prevent extractions from the cover file without destroying the cover. So this is to ensure the integrity of the file, that the message is untouched and has not been tampered with. That is the goal for this concept. So now that we are clear that this is a method of information hiding. Until now, we have talked a lot about images. But this method does not just apply to an image file. Wow, the image file is one of the most common or mostly used and most frequent used media. There are other data or file types that are possible for hiding messages as well. This file will include audio file, video file, text file, and the scariest of all will be executable file and programs. So let us now take a look at the applications of stachonography using our command prompt. So right now, we have basic understanding of what is stachonography. So in summary and a quick recap, stachonography is to hide image in another image so the people will not realize that this is an encrypted or hidden file. So before we start our practical lesson for today, I always want to remind and ensure everyone that your window is up to the latest patch and your antivirus is of the latest patch as well. That's to keep your security up to standards. So let's proceed to our command prompt by typing cmd under the search icon. So before we start anything, I just want to show off us the file that I've created for today's test. So the two image files are under Windows C drive under test folder. Let me arrange so that later we'll see the end result clearly. So first of all, let's change the directory. Then we'll go into the test folder. And from the test folder itself, let's check what the file inside this test folder under the command prompt. So we can see that 
there are only two files in the test folder. And remember the size of these two files. So right now will be the final steps to combine these two files. So we'll take picture one. So our first JPEG file, which will be the main file. And we'll hide picture two into picture one. You can see this picture two and this picture one. So the command is very simple. Copy slash B. B stands for binary. First picture file plus second picture file. And today we are going to have the end result. So I'm going to name the result file as result. So and let's click enter. So you can see that the second file is hidden into the first file. And let's do a test again. So I can see consists of three files right now and the data multiplied by two. Why did it multiply by two? Because the result file is equal to the first and second file. Let's take a look at the property of the first file. 8.22 KB. Property of the second file, 9.84 KB. And the property of the third file will be combination of the first and second file. So that's how we can simply hide an image under an image. That's all I have for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video for today and learned a domain of cybersecurity. Just some action items to keep the community going and motivate each other, mainly to make, motivate me. Do remember to subscribe to this channel and click on the like icon and leave a beautiful comments behind.